Hey guys, what's up? It's Devin here with DW Golf Co. And uh, I apologize for the early stream announcement. I was planning on hopping in and apparently I just decided to live stream anyway. So uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to get started with a little bit of uh, fun action here on PGA Tour 2K23. Um, I'm going to go to a course that I got to play earlier this year. I'm actually going to play it from the tees that we played it from. I think we played white tees, I want to say. I'd have to look it up to know for sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and play full course. And um, that looks great. And the course that we're playing is the Coeur d'Alene Resort up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This is a golf course that is known for its beauty. Um, it's physically, it's probably the most beautiful uh, golf experience that I've had all around in the history of ever. Um, yeah, so um, a few of the perks of the Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort is, first of all, you have a caddy. Caddies are great. Um, ours was a lot of fun. He didn't really help me a whole lot with my game um, so much as he uh, he just gave me distances and stuff like that. Other other people in our group, uh, he's able to kind of point out some more things that were helpful um, and all that. But here we are, Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort here in PGA Tour. 2K23. Yeah, these, these, this is a familiar tee. Alright. Par 5, number 1. I like it. It's a good way to warm up. Just play the old Coeur d'Alene golf resort. Nate, out of the office. Son. And this shot's about 145 yards out. All right, so safely aboard on the fairway here on hole number one, Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort. So as I was saying, one of the great things, um, you have a caddy. Um, I will show you where I hit my first shot, or my second shot. First shot was actually right before that bunker there. My uh, second shot was right over here in this general vicinity. Um, just completely duffed a three wood out over, had to chip over the wood, over the road and uh, actually landed it right near the green. So was able to, to kind of get up and down there for a bogey. Nate? If you don't keep coming in here, I'm going to spank your bare hiney. You have no pants on, son. All right, so here we are in with our second shot. Showing a 9 iron, which is pretty great. I like having a 9 iron in for my second shot on a par 5. And that should be pretty good. Hit it. Good shot there. Oh my, it ended up on the green. We're all right. We're putting. Everything is good. Ooh, this is uh, shaping up to be interesting. This putt for Eagle. All right, so solid approach there. Got this for Eagle, which is always a great thing to say here on hole number one. Just not that much break on that. Wow. Not that much break. Just about six feet. Whoa, and that one does have break. How does that happen? Uh, that's frustrating. Three putt par after a okay, approach to 10 moment. feet. I guess that's why we practice before we uh, before we take on tournaments. Now teeing off on a par four. 
I'm not going to tell you where I hit my drive on this one. It was not pretty. Not pretty at all. This one, however, is a nice drive. Nice shot there off the tee. Pushed it quite a bit. Not what I wanted. Okay, second shot here on the second. All right, nice little pitch up here. You can already start to see a bit of the lake. And I get it, this is a video game. Not everything's going to be spot on to real life, but the course itself is actually very nice. Very nicely done. Well done. A good Lining shot there. An eight foot putt. Chance here for the birdie. This putt's tracking. Money. Now that was Sweet. A shot. Um, another benefit of uh, the Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort, you get uh, if you are renting clubs, you have a choice in brand as well as your shaft stiffness and uh, all that stuff. And so that was pretty cool. Um, never never had that experience prior to then. Um, so I was I was a little blown away by that. And we're going to be putting just a little ways away from the hole. Um trying to think of some more highlights here of the of the course. The staff were um, absolutely fantastic to work with. Um, everybody that we ran in, ran into came in contact with, including our playing partners, uh, that my friend and I, um, played with, um, all great people and Ooh, so close. Uh, just a great golf experience. Um, before you round, you also are, um, allowed to partake in a pre round massage complimentary pre-ground massage and uh took advantage of that it was it was solid i was i was pretty happy about that um there was some wildlife out there whenever we uh played this course um do i go for it sure why not no way i could do this in real life uh, that's looking pretty good pretty saucy sit down Oh, hey, what do you know? That's where my uh, that's where my second shot ended up. Not quite out of bounds, but maybe I wish that it had been. Because we are quite a ways away from anything desirable on this one. Let's, uh... Oh, don't want that. Eh. Oh. That was also not what I wanted. That's closer to what I want. Let's see if we can get this to roll out a bit. And through some branchy oh, stuff here. Maybe sit down. Sit down. Maybe the fairway was the better play on this Third one. Shot. Uh, let's just try to get this get this on, get it close. Oh, oh ho. Sneaking it, it in there. Sneaking it in there on the low side, nonetheless. How about that? And currently sitting at two. There we go, two under. Yeah, whenever we played this hole, um, there were wild turkeys hanging out over there on the left side of your screen, kind of in this zone. Um, so fun. This one's a signature hole. I mean, very picturesque. You get great views there of everything. Um, this is one of the par threes I was able to hit the green on. I won't tell you which other ones I did not hit the green on, but I definitely hit this one. And uh, made me feel good because everybody else was off of the green. Including my buddy who ended up in that uh, front bunker miles away from the hole. Miss the green, unfortunate. This time, uh, not fortunate enough to get it, get it in the... On the on the green here in the game. Would have liked another chip in. That would have been great. The screen is a little funky. Where the pin is right here is just before uh, a crazy uh, bendage. 
Ooh, I pushed the snot out of that. And this is about four feet. Yeah, I deserve that. Deserve that bogey with that push. For the bogey. Not great. Currently sitting at one under par. Not great. Taking the bogey there. Not a desire of mine. All right, here we go. On to the sixth. And this one is down significantly. I'm going to go ahead and play it. About right there. A little fast on the follow through, but distance shouldn't be terrible. There we go. Sitting pin high. That's right, pin high. Greens are pretty flat, but it doesn't matter whenever you push your, uh, your putts. And teeing off now on the seventh. Seventh little downhill. I put this way over in the left. The rough. Trying to go around the corner. Which uh, didn't work out too well for me there. IRL. Um, but I hit an incredible approach shot that landed on the green through a tiny gap in the trees. And okay, I was happy with that. Alright, let's do it. Oh, get up. Oh, it's going to roll down. Does it have enough juice? Ooh, left it close. Ooh, with the touch out of the bunker. There we well go. Done. Back to two under. That, we'll take that. Down. This has probably been my favorite course uh, to play just all time. <clears throat> We're going to get around to um, kind of their signature, signature hole. Um, par, par three fifth there was... Um, one of their big time holes. Oh, into the tree. Well, did it. well, it depends on where it comes down. That worked out just fine. And worked out just about fine. 135, yards. Right, 135 into this one. Put some spin on this guy. It is down a little bit. So I'll plan accordingly. Ooh, flared that one out there a bunch. Going to make the green, but not close to the hole by any stretch of the imagination. Well, that'll do for now. All right, got a little better a right to left in this one. Long putt to contend with. Eh, not a bad line this time. Let's see if the actual putt line is good. In oh, yes, hole. sir. Oh, man. Let's go. Right on I don't know how you did it. Let's go. And that was oh, a solid yeah. putt. Oh, we should. We should definitely look at that one. Definitely looking at that putt. Look at all the putts. Oh, yeah. That's a solid 30. 37 footer. <clears throat> Hard to hate draining a 37 footer for birdie. All right, so through eight. now on hole number nine. Headed off to nine. Yeah, better, better swing, but oh, looking good off the tee. Guess better result than the swing would have you believe. Three hundred yard drive. I'll take that. Two hundred forty-five yards out from here. Wind is in our face a little bit. Just try to get this up there, around the green. Ooh, a little fast. A little fast and a little pull. This could roll into the rough, I think. Yeah, let's see what kind of bounce we get here. Yep, gonna be in that first cut. This one's your no third. problems there. Throw this guy right up in here. Sit down. Sit down there, buddy. No, don't go off the back. Stay. So close to going off the back okay, there. This will take you down to four under par. All right, a little bit uphill, a little downhill, kind of a hodgepodge of a different things. Much Looks better really putt good. line, just not yeah, uh, just right by. not a great line to putt on. This is for par. A little par putt here. Ooh, All right. sneaking it in the low side. So three under here on the front. Back is uh, here we go. Part four ahead of you. 
still pretty wide open, but very fun. Ooh, that's not a good shot. Absolutely demolished, but I'm in jail. I'm in jail. I need a good hop. Okay, let's see what kind of shot we have here through these trees. What happened there? I'd like to say I've never hit it from here, but I definitely have. Um, let's see what a punch here is looking like. Looking at about 50% of whatever we're punching. Um, that might find a gap right there. Let's see what happens if I... I can't tell if that's hitting a tree or if that's getting through a tree. So many variables right in here. All right, let's go with something like that. That's uh, definitely pulled. Yeah, we're through the through the well, trees. Somehow didn't hit anything. Well, that happens from time to time. Um, let's do club this up a bit. Forget about that. Oh yeah, sit down. Well done to the game designers for allowing things to roll out out nice of the rough. That's normal. That's normal. Ooh, a little strong. Let's see if it's on the right line. Ooh, -hoo. so close. Looked like I gave it a chance, and I did. All right, let's get to the next. And that's how you learn that your uh, tee shot really matters. Carrying on here to 11. Par 5. This was a pretty cool hole. I didn't play it well, but it's a cool hole. Kick left for me. Yeah, it trickled left. Okay, so on the fairway, 190 or so, 190 or so he says. I'll go 5 iron, I think. Um, not the greatest lies. Okay, I gotta go about there. Once again, a little push draw on this. That should land just fine. Yeah, we're about pin high here. And it looks like you're putting for eagle <coughs> from here. That's not bad. Giving it a run for eagle. And from here, 20 feet to the cup. I think that'll be just fine about right there. Especially the way that I push the ball. Right by the hole. Yeah, not not here the greatest. Putt coming up. Not the greatest putt, but nice result putt there is the fine. We'll end up with a birdie. Back to three under. Currently three under par Another cool par three. Teeing it up now on the 12. I feel good about a seven iron here. This one could be good. This one's looking good. There we are, pin high. Great work there. That's a great approach. All this right, let's about this out just a little bit. No, it's getting there. There we go. Starting to starting to feel the rhythm. Starting to feel the rhythm here. Four under for the day. Bringing things down to four under par. All right, drivable par four. I hit my tee shot about right here in the round that I actually played. Worked out just fine. A little fast, that should be all right. Let's see what kind of kick we get here. Oh, uh, stay up. Oh yeah, we're on the green. We are on the green. This putt is not gonna be fun. Please excuse the dog toy. All right, downhill. Quite a bit of right to left. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can keep this on the green, I think. I think that's going to be our challenge. Hmm. Just didn't give it enough room. And all I needed to do was tap this. Just a little <coughs> bit aggressive there. This a little bit aggressive is an understatement. Under. I think we'll just put this inside left edge. Hopefully that gives us enough room. Looking super. Yes. Not a whole lot in that one. Just a little bit of left and right. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a pretty salty putt. 
Pretty salty putt. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Another 30 plus foot putt. Uh, for the win. Five Brings us to five team. under now. That's great. Let's see what happens here on number Signature hole. Here the par 3 14th at Coeur d'Alene Golf Resorts. I definitely put my shot in that bunker back there in the back. Um, but I was not short. Was not short with my shot. Let's get a little kick left here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. That's going to get on top of the hill. See if it comes back down. It will. It will. Just right on the front of that hill. Trickling on down. Trickling on down. That's a safe shot. It's up here definitely there. I think this is where my sand shot time. ended up. Pin position was actually pretty close to where it is. Uh, my playing partner, Derek, he got par on this one uh, from the rough over, actually from the fringe. The fringe on the opposite side of the green. All right, so par here on the 14th. Hanging out there at five under. Ooh, that was not good. That was right back where we played it on number 10. Which is still not good. Just going at a different hole. Well, same spot. We're in the deep I was stuff. trying we to punch a, this. Uh, club or two extra on this shot. see what we got here. We're looking at about 70% of the stuff here. Shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Just trying to get it around. Around and down. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Six iron punch. Just punch this guy right out of there. About 60 to 70%. Oh, sit down. And we're in the bunker. Almost in the bunker. All right, we're getting there. We're almost to the green. Let's do this. We almost made it. We almost made it there. Feeling pretty good about that location. Get in. Oh, yeah. That's right. There we go. A beautiful chip in for the bird. Little chip in birdie. Here, the 16th. Sixteen. Longer par four. Um, just gonna try to get it out there in a good spot. That, I don't know if that's a good spot, but could get a could get a nice little bounce here. Boop. At least in the short grass. That's a win. Okay, second shot here on the 16th. Cool. All right, so here we go. Got everything kind of pushing us over there. And hopefully we get a bounce to the left. Yeah, we should at least not stay up there. A little bit of trickle down off of the Safe off that shelf green. up there. Gonna be a big downhill putt. Big downhill putt to here, right to left. Um, down about three inches. Lots of right to left action on this. Maybe not that much. No, that's going right by the hole, isn't it? Oh, it, it definitely went right by the hole. Okay, no problem there. Go. Got this one here for par. 
Solid par save. Solid par save. Seven under par for the moment. Seven under par. To left breeze on this hole. All right, this one is reachable with a th five wood. Apparently, it's a very short hole. Um, this has to be one of those holes that you put in because I it's fun. You might do that. It was an excellent that's Let's see that's one, gonna six, be three. in the bunker. No way that hangs on. Yeah. Yep. That's that's and the from the, the fear. Nice out here. Oh, let's do it. Oh yeah, that'll work just fine. Setting us up nicely for birdie there. Nice. Here we go. This is for birdie. Just a little bit of right to left at the at the ball. But all right, down to eight under. Teeing up now on big par four. That's a solid shot there. Yeah, I think we uh, will hit the fairway here. I'm not gonna hurt any feelings with that shot. And I won't tell you where my shot was on this out. one, but it was somewhere where there weren't trees, but there could have been trees. Um, yeah, it's not not a great spot to be in. Um, all right, got 120 pitch. Yeah, a little bit of a pull, but also a little bit of a cut on that shot. Just going to be sitting there on the front. Not exactly the best the best shot in the world, but we're, on we're putting. With that one. Well done. This we is are a very, putting. Very long putt. Yeah, uh, I agree. Movie. Very long putt. This one's going to be below all the way. I don't know if I could have put enough room on this one. Five feet to go. Five feet here to save par. Looking good. Buckets. Sweet. Coeur d'Alene Golf Resort. Um, absolutely gorgeous course. If you get to play it or even go check it out in real life, I highly recommend it. Um, just beautiful facilities, wonderful staff. Um, great place to enjoy around. Um, great lake views. All of the above. It's so great. So great of a course that one so that's my personal best on the course eight under 63 i was playing up a couple of uh ooh, a little hybrid power grip fitting all right so now back to what our uh stream title actually says which is the farmer's insurance open um, I think we're we can, we can hop into that, hop into a little my career action. Field size 156, worth 500 points. 72 holes. Yeah, let's try. Let's challenge old Harold Varner. So back to back, we're gonna go to world-renowned golf courses that I have played in the past year. So, um, played the North Course actually here at Torrey Pines where the Farmers Open is annually held. Um, but yeah, we uh, managed to sneak over at dusk and play hole number three, a par three um, that we'll see here in just a minute. But Played the North Course, and uh, the North Course did not disappoint. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So here we go. Farmers Open. Let's do it. Farmers Insurance Open. That could be in a bunker. That's uh, definitely in the bunker. No doubts about that one. Make sure you... Step up to the plate and deliver. Although you're going to enjoy this rivalry because All it's right. one of the best players out on tour to play with. Eh, a little slow out of that bunker, but not the end of the world. Let me up there close. This will be a great up and down. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's try to get this up there on the green. 
and uh, at least give us a chance here to save par. That'll work. That will work. That will work. So, hanging out here at even par through the first hole. All right, that wind kind of pushing us there toward the rough. Um, Let's we'll see what kind of lie we end up with. Found us a shady spot, and then. Not a nice lie at all. I don't appreciate this lie, but we'll we'll work with it. A little fast on it, not the end of the world. See what kind of spin we're able to get on it. Wow, that slowed down a lot more than I was anticipating. Why don't we catch up with the v Pretty good approach there. He's trying to pull ahead in this group yeah, right. we're going to just skip that guy right there. Henny, you've had the chance have to focus on one. my He's game. This, this one just a little bit up. A little this bit uphill. Feel pretty good about that. Ah, just a little below the hole. Hanging on to par. All right, so we're just just chilling here. Tied for 12th currently in the championship. Yep, that's, uh, that's the hole. So Snuck Over played this hole in real life. Hit a 5-iron, actually. Probably shouldn't have hit a 5-iron. Downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center of the green all, all right. day long. Center of the green is the selection for this shot. Did kind of pull it a little bit, but still give us a good run here for um, for Birdie. Give enough room. Oh, a little too much room. That would have been a nice one. Just not, not the one for me. <coughs> so there we go. Hanging out at even par on that one. There we go. It is a beautiful hole. Beautiful hole all the way around. Yeah, that's that's definitely not where you want to put it. We're gonna aim this one very far right, on account of the lie and the wind. Uh, a little fast on it. I need it to sit. Just a bit sit down. Into the rough. Sit down. Ah, oh, that's gone. That is gone. No retrieving that one. Taking a long, long road toward the ocean. Yep, that's not the shot here? that we were wanting there. Up here from about Just really, really fast on that. Wind didn't help me. Lie didn't help me. Everything was pointing Nine towards... Uh, where it ended up. So, need this one close to salvage something decent. Yeah, the wind's really starting to blow, but that didn't phase them. Now, that's the shot that I meant to hit. Um, all right, just a little bit of right to left on this one. And a lot of push. Not what we wanted. Definitely feeling that, that out of bounds there, so. Pushing us to two over there on that hole. And now over to challenge, challenge and go. Ahead in this Let's see what it's not hard to be ahead whenever Let's your partner hits it out of standings. bounds. Alright, so... That is, that is true. 
Just about saw that one. Back toward you from back to front. It's got a lot of movement over on the left hand side. All right, this one, let's flight this down just a little bit. And the ground's going to kind of push us over there to the left side anyway. And I'm going to push it even further. Need that to sit. And we did get some spin on it to get it to sit down, not anywhere near birdie, birdie length here. We're going to have to aim, I think, about over here. A chance. Mm. Not a bad go at it. Just need to sit down. Stop rolling. And go back down the hill. That would be the worst. One week makes too many, I think. All right. Just outside right edge here. Once again, just a massive push. It's killing me. Just a short putt remaining here. Absolutely killing me with these pushes. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on yeah we're moving the wrong direction in a fa in a hurry. In a hurry. Yeah, better better looking drive on the swing path. Terrible result. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left hand side. Ah, why be shy? I'm shy when we could be right in them. This is a three tiered green with a low area over on the left hand side that sees a lot of action. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just go for this guy. It's not going to get there, but at least give us something, something positive. That's a respectable shot there. Well, that was a good strike. That was pretty well planned out of the fairway bunker. Right, let's throw this guy right up there. Pretty quick on that one. Need to sit. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's a good one. It's always fun putting them in tight like that. Nice, easy birdie. Getting us back to two over. Pretty good, pretty good bunker save on that one, I would say. Wind is helping us out here a little bit. Well, wind's doing the work for me. Yeah, don't do it. It's bad, bad news. Bad news if you're going there. And throw it up in the air, throw some spin on it, and see what happens. Feel pretty good about that shot if it'll go. Not super tight, but on the putting surface. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. And we're going to push it. Ah. Uh, just a little... A little bit too far below the hole. And now let's head over to Helen Vana the third. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? That's always the question. Can he stay that way? <clears throat> well, he's trying to catch up with me. All right. Uphill. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire Ooh, way. That got Difficult pulled. To get it on that back level when they stick the pin. That the got pulled a bunch. Got a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Not the end of the world though. I feel like we have have some room. Sit down. Short game has definitely been coming along lately. That's that's helpful. Good par save to finish out hole number eight there. And we're moving on. Moving on to the back. Finish off the front nine here. Hopefully get something positive going. I think the challenging part about it, Luke, is it's just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight 
Well, not on this, not on this particular day. It's a. Uh, ooh, that's in the sand. Ooh, yeah, just trickled into the front of that bunker. It's not, but it's the one we got. So, let's go for it. Let's put it out here to the left. Nice, easy shot. See if we can get in this other bunker. Just really wanted to be at the beach. It's the only excuse I have. I might need to get less of you. That was well played. All right, let's throw this one up there. Get some spin on it so it stops. It is uphill just a little bit. Don't think it's enough to to affect too much. And. Getting bumped into by children as I try to swing is not a move. Uh, that's exactly what that was. And why not just continue that? Need this one for par to stop the bleeding. Yeah, just not nearly hard enough out of that fringe. This one's 13 feet from the cup. Try and keep that scorecard. Ah, pushed another one. Dad gummit. And that puddle drop. Well done. And now heading over to Harold Varner the third. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's close. What a way to save your car. This tall player is just streets ahead now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. As we head to the back nine here at Torrey Pines Southbridge, the tenth is in a long haul, but the slope off the tee makes it a, a difficult one. All right, let's see. After that little little breather there, rough rough hole there on nine. I'm just gonna. Oh gosh. Yeah, maybe get a little cart path action. Watch out down below. All right, so quite the drive after the cart path. Feel good about a normal gap wedge in. Just gonna throw this up over here. Let it do its thing. How is the wind not affecting that at all? I'm impressed and depressed all at the same time. On the front of the green, have a chance here for birdie still. Well, that's an extra life in the bank finding the green from there. Well, let's see if I can make this putt. This will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here. Do a little bit of a pull there. That's not going to help us at all. Just inconsistent swing path right now, destroying everything in my in my game. All right, hanging on to par, still sitting at three over. Not a great, not a great look right now. Ah, four over. Sorry, I guess I doubled nine. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par three eleven. This green from the back tee that one feels like it could be nice. There's just not a lot of room on the yeah, unless it's in that the bunker, section, then it's not it great. Does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green to All right. make three, move on. Sit down. Ooh, I thought that one was going in. Yeah, I gave it a chance to, it just didn't didn't go. Just didn't want to go. All right. So, if I can avoid the squares, that's the goal. Avoid the squares. Name of the game. All right. This is headed for another bunker. Ooh. Managed to avoid it. 
You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough. From just trying to get this up there near the green. Wind's helping a little. And we're going to trickle on there. So, mile away, mile away from this uh, pin. Let's just throw this back here. Throwing it back there, see what we get. Ooh, so close. I think I had the line if I had just taken a little bit off of it. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. All right, so hanging on to another par. Would love to start scoring a little bit lower. Going to make the cut a little more difficult to, to get out of, so... Just need to start scoring a little bit, that's all. All right, Rich. The par 513th. So much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting. There we go. A solid drive. I think that's probably one of the one of the best drives we've had all all round. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. That one there's a solid shot, solid shot there. Difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Getting ready to play there too. All right, let's see what we can do with this third shot, see if we can get it in there. Uh, Semi-close. Semi-close, give us a chance here for birdie. It is up 21 feet, which means we need something a little bit long. Oh, that could be good. Sit down. Ah, oh, too much spin. Sit there. No. No. Stop rolling. Wow. Just airtime between him and his rival. He's too ahead. Well, he's too ahead because I keep screwing it up. And this part is for a big four on the scorecard. It's easy to be ahead whenever your partner's just mucking it up out here. I'm going to put it just outside left edge. And I'm going to push it, so that may help or hurt. In this case, it hurts. Freaking A. Should have been a birdie and just too much spin. Spun it off the globe. I'm going to put this down the right side. All right, I learned how to find a, dr a fairway again. That's a win. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Right, this one is a little bit uphill, but not a lot of landing area from here. It's this about as good as I could do there. Fiber. All right. I needed that one. A little bit outside right. And then I pull the freaking putt. What the heck is my problem on this round? It wasn't too hard. I just can't putt. That's about the easiest birdie putt I had all round. It's right across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it. With well, that'll be fun hitting out of those trees. Landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. 
All right, we're looking at about 50% on the on the shot here. Let's see if we can kind of cut this over. Opting for the five wood. Oh yeah, let's see if we can run it up there. Would have felt better about a three, but from where I was, that's about all I could do. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. It definitely was. 100%. And a little fast there. I'm gonna make this next putt really interesting for par. And that's how you pick up bogeys, kids. Uh, that time I just had a bad line. Bad line. Overall, this is just a horrendous round. <clears throat> Missing birdie putts. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections. All right, sit down. The back right and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. I don't know that I'm in the right section. I think I'm in another section, which is not the section that I want to be in. Yeah. Yep, definitely downhill. Uh, two would be great about now. Very downhill. Straighten up. Hit it. There we go. Let's go, birdie. The birdie. We'll take it. That's a... That is a, a helpful birdie putt there. Brings us back to three, o four over, I guess that is. Whatever that is, it's still not positive. Back to four over, so I wanted it to be three over, but four over it is. That's a solid shot, just blocked. Straight blocked. But also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From I there, agree. This is no good. It tilts from back to front mostly with a really low section over there on the left hand side. However, it still is a promising right. birdie opportunity. Let's see what we can do here on the sand. A little fast on that. We're going into another uh, bunker, I think. Don't expect a good lie here. Eh, I wouldn't expect a good lie anytime that I'm playing this. He's currently one stroke better than his rival and playing partner today. And back to the course with the live action. All right, let's see if we can this be a great up flop this guy this up here, I think. See what kind of a shot we can get out of this. We're looking at 70 to 80%. Not a bad lie. Just flop this guy right up there. Yep, sit down. <coughs> Pretty good shot from there. Alright. Managed to save par. Hang on to that four over round, which is not great. One more hole. One more hole. I'd love to score something on this one. Oh my gosh. Let's just pull this one and... That's not where you want it. Well, good news is I am becoming better and better at hitting fairway bunkers. Bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Yep, not even going to try. Not from that bunker. No chance. Alright. That just means that you got to put this one in there pretty close. I'll throw that up here on the right side. Feeling strong, going for less club. Yep, sit down. Actually went up clubs, but thanks for not noticing. Okay, so an approach with a chance for birdie here. 
It is indeed downhill. I feel pretty good about that. And I give it enough room. No. Speed was better, though. Speed was good. Take our medicine. End up with a plus four round. Not the, not the best round of the, of my career for sure. But hanging out at tied for 46th after one round. Not a, not a positive round overall. Very few uh, bright spots there. So there's round one here at the Farmers Open. And uh, let's go ahead and bump on over to round number two. Don't think I have anything to power up or add on that's going to help. Just got to go out there and make some shots. That's what it comes down to. All right, back out here at the Farmers Insurance Open. If you guys haven't already, be sure you smash that follow button, hit that hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with us and see any fun stuff that we're doing. Does look like the wind's died down a bit, which is helpful. Considering last round it was blowing me around everywhere. They do. They need to get out there though and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative. Oh, I want to fire at some flags. That was not a good swing. That was horrendous, actually. That's all me, though. I would agree with that. That's fair, fair assessment. Yeah, still a little fast. Tempo on these on these uh, chips and pitches are kind of the Achilles heel. Nice thing is it's also uphill and very flat. Saving par, hanging out at four over. So once again, par here at one. Now we're striping some drives. That's much better. Much better feeling. Now just to chip it up there. The old chip, chip, chipperoo. Sit down, ball. Okay. Carried a little bit further than I wanted, but still in a good spot. Oh, how? How? Man. Right over the edge. That's the worst. That is a that is a rough putt. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. That is a tough, tough break there on that putt. Into the third. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely painful to play downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left hand side. Forget about it. Oh yeah, I almost feel like the left is a is a better spot to go for it. Center of the green. Always a safe spot. Let that trickle down just a little bit toward the hole. Birdie range, he says. I feel like that right there might be might be the line. There it is. Finally a birdie. It is possible. We can do this. We can do this. I think I can. Ooh, looking for a bunker. A rough on the right -hand do I see play. a bunker? Don't want to be there, I did see a bunker, and then I found the rough. So, right the not what it's I want. Shot, almost an infinite edge I think we'll go hybrid here. Let that kind of really feed down. down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. A little fast there, giving a little draw, let that run up. And it does just that. So we're putting on the front part of the screen. Yep, but there's still a chance. Unless you pull it, then it might not have as much of a chance. 
Oh, ho, ho. once again, the high side just ruining all of my, all of my love. Ruining it all. I don't think we need to. That's what they all say. Alright, so tied for 23rd currently at plus 3. Nowhere near the top 10 at this moment, but... Uh, Things can change. Alright, that's in a good uh it's in a good spot there. In a good spot, gonna be right about where we were last round. Not sure what's going on with that. Down about four feet. Ooh, a little bit of a block there, but it might be okay. Spin on back. Nice. Right up there near the hole. Got a good chance here for the birdie. Boom. There it is. Two under now on the round. That's helpful. <coughs> Yeah, I think that ocean wind just kind of combined with the whole um, course layout. It really does uh, incorporate that wind quite a bit. All right, on to the par four here. Par five, six. That's a that's a solid drive right there. Get a little kick out of that rough, and we should be just fine. Or we'll just get a kick into the rough. First cut's not bad. Yeah, I think we can go for that. I think we can go for that. Chase it up there. Oh, yeah. Run on up there, buddy. I uh, hit that false front and just kind of killed it. It's all right. Disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Yeah. Didn't quite have the distance to get there, but left themselves in a good spot. Oh, that's really slow. Not a great chip. Kenny, that's unfortunate. This this Still got this chance here for birdie. Looking for another birdie here. Birdies are nice. Not, uh, not all that great there. Four feet to the cup. And we'll save par. A little disappointing result there. A little bit of a disappointing result. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out the fairway bunker down the left hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Got the gentle fade part. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the canyons come into play. Alright, we're looking about 70-80% in on this one. I have to bend it around this tree a little bit. Be a lot bit. Let's see. Opting for the nine iron. Yeah, keep coming. Okay, just off the edge there. Not the end of the world. It definitely did not. But I appreciate your your rhyming. All right, got that here for the par. And we're moving on here. That's how it looks. All right, looking to make some more moves here. This par three, no win today. So, just playing standard six iron. A little bit of a pull on this one. Need to hit that shelf and come on back. Oh, come on. You want to. We all know you want to. <clears throat> Alright, chance here for birdie. Ah, oh, once again, too high. Too high. Four feet from the hole. Well, hanging on to par there through eight. Oh, yeah. Got to go with the driver. 
five, 615 yards. You got to hit a straight tee shot. Straight well, shot, not a not a great bounce shot. there, but challenging when they put the pin on the top left tier. That's when you can put a little too much spin on it and have it come chasing down to the front part of the green. That's no good. We'll throw this up here on the left side. Hopefully, get a bounce back to the right, or we'll just play army golf. That's cool. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up from about 130 yards out. We are looking at about 70, 80 percent in. And this one, yeah, pulled it. We're just trying to stay off of all the good surfaces, really. That's all we're going for. If we could find every terrible shot on this hole, that's what we're trying for. Chance here. Chance here to get up and down. Trip on down there. Yeah. Chance here to save par. Got it. All right, so two under here on the front. I'd love to score at least two more, get back to even par here going into the weekend. Currently tied for 16th in the tournament. Watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Oh, that's in the bunker on the right. Unless it stops short, I don't think it will. Oh, gets a little more kick off to the right, so that is definitely not where we want it. Off the beaten path. He's only one back from his rival. Let's return to live play now. And he how's that ball lying? Oh, no. This nope. is nasty. Yeah, it's bad. Just no. It's not good. Not good. All right, so we're going to go seven iron in here. Um, I'm going to land it up about here, I think. Just a little bit uphill. Ooh, pushed it. Missed the ball almost. Going to be in that bunker. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Definitely did not. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. All right. Let's try to get a good swing on this one. That's better. Sit down. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Yeah, we got a little bit of work here to save par. This one. Right on six feet. This one Nailed it. All right, still hanging out here at two over. Got some green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it's still Ooh, push that. very small. A that's in a bunker. Top left. I think that's where I ended up, up last time. Happy days for you. No, I was in the not shelf. It's just off the top shelf Make last time. Move on. That's good. Sit down. Sit down. All right. Somehow this is going two different directions. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me in. God. Should have just gone straight up the... Straight at the freaking thing. All right, giving back a stroke there. Wrong direction. And it's not. It's not a great tee shot. You miss it a little bit out to the right. The rough over there is horrific. You do find the fairway though. You got a green that tells from back right. I would say of all the misses, this might not be the worst. So imperative to not get it above the hole. Eh. So not leave below the hole at all costs. That's in the bunker. Just well, needed a day at the beach. The Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. I'm definitely not happy about it. But we got a putt uphill here. Chance to save par again. Hey, that's a chance. Not a great one, but it happened. Definitely not not doing well here to to get back any strokes. Hanging out in 19th currently. 
Not the end of the world, but not in the spot where we want to be. Oh, if I could slow down my swing anymore. Well, that's about as good of a result as we could hope there. Now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult Oh yeah, send out those sparks, baby. On the PGA Tour, bar none. All right, well, blasted that one now, along the right side there. The well, there's a question here of whether they'll need one more club playing to an elevated green. Oh yeah, we need one more. Need one more. Give us one more. One more club. One more club. One more club. That's pulled. Nasty. Nothing good about that pitch. Back down the hill. Let's try that one again from the short grass. I am just destroying all of my chances for anything positive out of this round. Goodness gracious, hit a shot. Wow. What is going on here? Well, we got this for bogey. Short game today has been absolutely sublime. If you need sublime as like now, a terrible, two, horrendous, yeah, he just made nasty thing. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. God, that hurts. The now has a one stroke advantage. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Really, just anything positive to happen on any of the holes would be great. Ah, fairway. I don't know what that is. Been a while since I've seen one of these. A club up here. That's a fair shot. Kick left. Okay. Not the end of the world. See if it goes. There we go. Let's go. Good hole. Good hole. Back to one under for the round. Needed that. Needed that one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size. Ooh, push the snot out of that. Need a good tiny, kick off this hill. Tiny kick left. Area out there. This is possibly the meanest okay. hole on this golf That's course. fine. Not hardest, That's fine. Meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. All right, we're going to go three wood Better out of this crap. Players that have come out and people are quick to label them as prestigious talents and what they can do that is true about Lydia Ko that she is one of the <coughs> games That's in the bunker. Would you say prodigy? Again. I think Again. Lydia Ko's Another game bunker. should just be, instead of prodigy, just say, look at Lydia Ko. Because this young lady has seemingly done it oh all. Oh, yeah, sit down. 14 years young. 14 sit down. Men, the youngest men or women to ever win a tournament that early. That is astounding. Ah, uh, freaking didn't give it enough room. Are you kidding? It's just, it's how <sighs> things that make you scream inside and outside sometimes. Giving back strokes that I'm taking. Back to even par for the round. Not where I want to be. Alright, let's go after this one with a hybrid. Better swing here. Let's see if it can hop up there. Lands on the fringe. And it'll stay kind of in the middle. Middle tier there. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Just a little bit of break here at the beginning. Not a whole lot the closer you get to the hole. Ooh, so close. So close. Finally put a good stroke on something and just couldn't quite get it to fall. Ooh, drop shot. Alright, so we're hanging out steady here just outside the top 20. Plus four, not a great spot to be. Far cry from minus eights. 
This one's going to work out just fine, I think. Alright, got a chance here. Get it in. It tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still uh, is a promising birdie option. A little bit of a pull on that shot, but see where that ends up. Not the end of the world, I don't think. Stay up. Not, a bad play, that one. Not the best shot and in the world, but well, we don't care about Harold. Trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's get back to the action. All right, this what one, a lot of different penny? things going on. Straight back up this hill. I don't know about straight back. Here. This is pretty, uh, pretty bendy. Bendy back up this hill. I give it enough room? No, no, I did not. Even with a pull, didn't, didn't give that enough room. Got that one there for par. Just hanging out at even par for the day. Has some chances to score and then blew them all. Great speed, just blocked on the swing path there. Need a good kick to the left to avoid that bunker. And got it. Wow, okay. Chance here to go for it. I think I will. Let's try to land it just shy of that uh, bunker on the right. With a three wood here. Yep, that'll be That's in that bunker, I think, sure. but not a problem. Not a problem. Getting ready to play their third. Just want to make sure that we put this one nice and far back here. We're actually looking at 60% on the lie, so that'll kill a lot of that. Sit down. That's all right. Nice. So finishing up one under for the round, not a bad spot to be at all. Would have preferred to be like five, five under for the round. Not terrible. Puts us in the top 20, but still have a lot of room to go getting in there. So they are ways back and they need ways to back is more. accurate. Accurate statement there. And all the hard working folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. All right, so two rounds down here at the Farmers Insurance Open. Not out of the woods just yet, but uh, let's check out some of these fittings, see if we can trade up some of these guys. Let's exchange these dudes. You guys aren't doing these with your oh, upgrade these guys. You guys aren't doing these with your lower tier fittings, and you're, you're finding it hard to get the the best fittings. Um, you want to go ahead and select all these, switch to upgrade, upgrade these guys. There you go. So by upgrading, you can get all of these uh, elite. Um, fittings for your clubs and uh, that's where you start getting a lot of the impact for all of those all right cool let's uh let's go after another one go after another round let's see if we can play a little bit better i think we're starting to get the feel for the course get the feel for our game today which has not been the best not the sharpest game we've ever brought onto the course. But we're still having fun. Still having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. If you haven't already, be sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, really helps us out. Yeah, see if this stays to the right here. Yeah, why not go in the bunker? Alright, so looking, looking at a lot of, a lot of stuff here. Wind is going to help us push this to the right. There we go. 
Get a good little bounce there, hanging out in the fringe. Rough just off the green. This should be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. I concur. Let's try to throw that back about there. And we'll see what, what kind of kind of roll we get out of this. Not terrible out of that. Par would be good. Once again, par here on one. So beginning of a good or bad round. We'll find out. Scrambling around. Sitting at three over for the event. Take off now on a short par four. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Even if I wanted to, I don't think that I could reach the green with the wind Tee blowing straight in my face. That's going to be in the rough. Oh, managed to stop. Okay. Managed to stop that. Let's do throw some spin on this one. It is uphill just a smidge. Play it long, see if we can spin this one back. Hit spin. Oh, yeah. Stop spinning now. Stop rolling. It's all right. Not, bad. Not a bad shot. We're putting uphill this now. Part, this is a 12 footer here. Give that a little bit more pace to compensate for my not great line, but one under. We'll take that birdie. Moving up the leaderboard. Moving up the leaderboard. There we go. All right. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely painful to play. Going right at this pin. Tuck the pin over on the left hand side. Forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part That's of the not a bad spot. Not a bad spot, I don't think. Not for where that was. I just ignored your ignored all of your advice there. Uh oh, I just needed two more revolutions there to get birdie. Alright, hanging out. One under for the round, two over for the tournament. Tied for 18th, currently sitting in that top 20. Love to get inside the top twin top ten. That is a solid swing, but once again right at those bunkers. And you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right hand Are you sure? I mean, it's pretty great. Pretty great. All right, so we're looking at about 70, 80% out of this guy. Wind is going to help us, and if we can get it over in the right side of the green, have a chance here. It's going to kick us back to the right a little bit. All right, so just a little bit above pin high, but not a bad spot. That's an accurate statement. Alright, this does cool down the closer it gets to the hole. As far as break goes, that could be off the green. Depending on when it decides to stop rolling. That putt went a bit long there. I would agree with What's that. Front of them, Henny, with this putt? Let's put this yeah, just on the right edge. Spot here, just below the hole. Oh, are you kidding? Come on, buddy. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? Yeah, it did until it didn't. Back to even. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely. Once again, my special power on this uh, course. Really, just the game in general is uh, hitting a hitting a tee shot, and then didn't even know hitting this bunker was possible. Let's do it. This is downhill, just a little bit into the wind. Excuse me. Whew. Oh, that could be good. See what kind of kick it gets out here on the on the green. All right, well, considering where we were, that's not terrible. Giving us a chance. He's staring down a birdie putt here. I'm gonna say let's put it just outside right edge. Give it a shot. Come on back. Oh, so close. I think if I'd have just ran straight at it, it would have been fine. 
All right, hanging on to par there. Par five here. This par five, just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Oh yeah, the patented push draw. <clears throat> Wind kind of helping us here on this hole. Oh yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. Why wouldn't you go for it? That's what I want to know. Why wouldn't you go for it? Looks like they've got the firewood. Sit down. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. Up on the top tier, not exactly where we wanted to be. Let's see if it comes back down. No. Nope. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Putting for eagle here. Definitely got to give it some room. Pin right, kind of at the base of that of that slope. Just kind of ride the, ride the wave that is. That is that uh, slope there. Sit down. That was a good stroke. I'm not upset with that at all. Just not a great line. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Yeah, he's been prowling around this one. It's 11 foot out. There we go. Back to one under for the round. A solid, solid showing on that hole. Just wiggling right around. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out the fairway bunker down the left hand side and just hit a gentle fade. There's that gentle fade. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long. Don't go long. Famous words. Don't go long. Good about, about right there. Straighten up just a little bit for that slope. A little bit of a pull on this one. See if the wind helps us out. No. Yeah. Not terribly nasty. A bit wild on approach there. Oh, yeah, get out of it. Definitely affecting that shot. In a positive way. There was nothing positive happening on that one. Oh, sit down. Did not spin that at all. I, I I mind it. I'm glad that you don't mind it. I mind it. Ooh. Ooh, look at that putt. Somebody learned how to putt. That's a solid putt there. Solid putt there to hang on to. Hang on to the par. All right, back at this par three. Um, go up with the five iron. Put some spin on this guy. Throw it out here to the left. Pull it into the other side of the green. Goodness gracious. That's not close to anything. Uh, a little off is different than what just happened there. Wow. That was something else. That was something else. Get up. God, and here we are that's with not great. Shot. Need this one to go in. That'd be awesome. Mmm, close. Yep, just didn't quite give it enough room. I gave it the extra juice, picked up the extra stroke, and ready to move on. I think the challenging part about it is just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight I don't think I've hit this fairway yet. Oh, until today. Until today. But for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. That's in a bunker. Looks like this one's going to the beach. Mmm. It's my favorite place on this course, apparently. I think I've hit more bunkers than possible. Whoa. All right, we're looking at about a 70% uh, 
shot coming out of this. Um, I'm going to flight that down just a little bit. Solid shot. Yeah, sit there. Okay, go down to the bottom of the, of the thing. Well, the Whatever. Gonna be coming out of the bag, but it's still gonna be a long way from the. Oh, uh, it's a long ways. A birdie putt awaits. Uh, just not gonna stay up enough. Speed was good, oh, just not quite here. enough. Not quite enough room. All right, so one over here through, I guess, even par through. Yeah, that's in the bunker. Another bunker. It's exciting. Oh, you know it is. You know that's in the sand. All right, going five iron here. Just kind of throw it up there close to the front of the green. Let that roll on out. Hopefully. Please roll out. Yeah, it's going to roll. Roll just a little bit. Not enough to, to make much of a difference. Let's hold the monster. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. That's when it starts breaking. Sit down. Yeah, right on off. Right on off. Need this one for par. Yeah, left it short. Get up. Woo! Definitely thought that was going to be short. Nicely done. Well fought hole right there. Bunkered off the tee. <sighs> Scrambling around, just doing what we can to not drop any more strokes. Hanging out at even par right now for the round. Three over. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. All right, we're going to go hybrid here. Oh, that's not a good shot. Seems to be my favorite place on this hole is anywhere but the green. I don't think I've hit this green yet. That's the goal. Mm. It's going to be on, but par is far away. And he's down there. You got a read? Up this Just a little bit of break on this guy. This is what they have left for par here. Goodness gracious. Saving pars from no man's land here. Not not exactly what I'm hoping for in my life. Still even par for the day. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step All right, up. Got a little bit of left to right there. To the Not a bad shot. Here. Finally found the fairway on this hole. To long iron. Do you have a little bit of helping wind on this down just, just a smidge? You. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. I don't think anybody's listening to you. All right, so center of the green, safe play, not the end of the world. Two putt this guy. I think just a smidge over to the left here. If we can make it, that'd be great too. Not gonna hate on that. Looking really good. Just uh, pushed it. Otherwise, it's probably in the hole or really close. All right, not a bad, not a bad hole there. For sure. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, oh man, now you've got fairways. To low area Almost forgot what these were like. Third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots. Ooh, switched, but that's definitely over where I hit from the last round. Which is not exactly the best place in the world. 251 on the shot, but got a good lie. Got a good lie. Looking at about 80-90% off of this. Um, going to throw some spin on it. See if we can pop this guy up there. 
Not a bad shot as long as it gets up. Did not. It's going to spin all the way back down. Halfway back down, okay. Right up and down. I agree with that. Let's just get this up there. Sit. Nice. Okay. Chance, chance here. We'll keep it inside right edge. And it's in. So, staying even par here on the back. Even par on the front. The Spaniard, John Rahm, currently in top spot. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four hole. It looked like it came out of a cannon. It's because it did. And a couple of bogeys. He needs to get something going here today. I agree. I'd love to start scoring. Scoring would scoring is my favorite. Silvano Ballesteros inspired the entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own right. Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golf of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I uh, kick left. Right now, Luke, okay. Well, we're pin high-ish. Others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard. I think John Rahm's name would be number one. All right. Because he seemingly try this line. Zero weaknesses. I can't find a single. Just not, not speed. there. And it is so complete. You just get hanging on to pars. Hanging on to pars. If you guys have any comments, uh, suggestions, whatnot, be sure you leave those in the chat zone. There. And love to answer any questions or any of that. That's going to be under the trees and probably in the rough based on previous experiences. And it actually did hang on there, so that's great. All right, so we're going to throw that in. Window's going to help us a little bit. Going with the eight iron here. Pretty solid shot as long as it gets on top. Ah, oh, great. Sit down. Ah, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty right there. That's that's the kind of shot that we want. All right. So this is similar to a putt that I missed on this hole after drilling it close. Not going to make that mistake again. Finally, a birdie on the back nine here on 15. We're back to one under for the round. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16 hole. All right, let's go. Yep, I'm going to go five wood here. in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to the screen. The front, the back right. All right, moving it left to right here. See if we can get a good bounce back to the left. There we go. Come on back to the hole. Get there. Go. 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 There we go. That's a uh, that's the shot that we wanted right there. That right there was the shot that we needed. Throw this just on the right edge there. Three footer for birdie. Up to 14 is a good spot to be. Still down 10 strokes is not where we want to be. The 17. To the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty. There we go. That's a good shot. This hole. You have to challenge the left hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. I agree. There, bunker, not good. From back to front, mostly, but they All really right, let's throw some spin on this eight iron. On the left hand side. However, it's let's try to get this guy going. Pretty decent shot there. Need it to sit. Ooh, even a little backspin on that. Bringing us in close. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on chance the for birdie. Just a four footer remaining. That's what we want. Miss it. Could be costly. This is their look at birdie. Not a whole lot in this one. Just gonna go inside right. right All right, guess inside left. That's three birdies in a row. That's. That's the kind of way that we were talking about there. Back to even par. Like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Up into a tie for 11th. 
Welcome to the A team. Oh, that's a solid drive. Just stay out of the yeah, sandy stuff. Uh, yep, it's in there. Hedy, I'm sure you've got a better look of that line. Oh, this is sitting pretty. Let's sitting check to see if pretty. They this up. It's so nice. Uh, well, we're gonna go for that next bunker over. Mmm, straight pull. I need a good hop off of this hill. Oh, got it. What a what a save there. Managed to get a good hop. I was aiming for the other bunker. I figured the other bunker's a, a nice spot. Using all of his muscles to get that one home too. All right. Still got a lot of work here down an inch. Um, gonna need a lot of break on this guy. A lot of break. Uh, just below the hole. Not a terrible miss there. Still a chance here for birdie. Ooh, almost missed it. All right, finished up four birdies in a row there, firing them off. That was a great end of the round. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so we got one more round here at the Farmer's Insurance Open. Sitting at one under, nine strokes behind Lydia Ko. And, uh, yeah, that's a, a solid round. Ended up four under on the round. Pick this up some more upgrades, some more, some more coinage. And uh, we're on to the, the final round here. This will be the final round that I play this evening. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out uh, with me as I play Farmer's Insurance Open. Not exactly the best the best round or tournament of golf that I've ever played, but it's uh, shaping up to be a good one. Here at Torrey Pines South, if you guys haven't already, uh, or if this is your first time checking out the channel, this is Devin with DW Golf Co. And uh, would love it if you would smash that subscribe button give us a like um, or give us a follow if you're on twitch um, just so you don't miss any of our future broadcasts or any of that stuff so inspiring golf i agree with that statement everybody's fired up Everybody was fired up for putting. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, so close. A little high. Just a little high. Not the wrong side to end up on. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. Easing our way in. Easing our way in. Staying even on that hole for the tournament. That one's blasted. Just absolutely blasted down the fairway. Should feed right back down left to right. There we go. 320 on the drive. It's a great spot to be. I uh, got this one uphill just a little bit. A little side hill lie here. A little fast on that delivery. Need that to sit. Perfect. Once again, getting a nice close uh, approach shot here on number two. Ooh, a little on the high side, but not too much. That'll be a birdie. Currently tied for fourth. That's an accurate statement. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely it can be painful. extremely painful. This one's looking pretty good. Should kick Never back to the right there. just a little. Feeding down. That's a great shot. That is a great shot right there. So it's going to be just on the left edge, I think. Birdie, birdie run. You heard her. Reset that. Just inside left edge. Good looking putt. 
There it is. Birdie, birdie run here. Final round of the tournament. See if we can make some inspiring play to catch up with the leaders. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right hand side it, of play. It brings those bunkers into play as well. Oh, check out that bunker. Would you look at this bunker? So we're gonna find our first bunker of the round. Almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down to make sure you have a good idea. Looking to get out of this mess right here. A little slow on that, but should get a little kick off of the hill maybe. This is not going to be a fun shot if it stays up in that. This yeah, a not a whole lot of green to work with on this. Let's pop this guy up. Let it kind of trickle down, I think, has got to be the play. A little fast on that. This is going to roll down about pin high, but just didn't get it out there far enough. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Not going to do it, but good speed, good landing location, just not in the right spot. You can't have that bad of a shot on your third whenever you've already missed it. All right, on to the par four. So we'll play a fade. All right, down in our normal landing spot here for this hole. There's a little downhill. Throw some, throw some stuff on it. Play it toward the middle, and uh, just let it trickle down if it does. Pin high will sit right there. Chance here for the birdie. Ooh, may have left it short. If I had gone after that, it's probably in the hole. It's the right line. I just didn't hit it full. All right. So still hanging out here, one under for the round. Solid drive there. Should be safely in the fairway. This is a three-tier green. All right, a chance to go after this green. Yeah, they're planning an aggressive play here, guys. Going for it in two. Yeah, he's got his eyes set oh, on the yeah. surface. Get up there. Play here. And that's going to roll over on the fringe, which will keep us closer to the pin. Not a problem with that. Normally I'd putt something like this, but... What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Sit down. A little tap in birdie here. That's what I was going for. Happy to take that tap in birdie. Up into fifth. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down. Solid drive here, just kick right. Second shot here is to an elevated uh, green. That might be Don't up in the rough or in that bunker. Here. That's all right. This is a pretty flat bunker. Should have a decent lie out of it. All right, so downhill just a little bit. I don't mind going for the back of this, this guy right here. Throw a little bit of spin. Seven iron. Looks pretty good. Ah, too fast. Too fast. Got excited about it. All right. We'll find a shady spot. Get this guy to land up about here and roll out just a bit. Should be okay. Yep. Should have an interesting putt here to save par. Yeah, a little firm for that line. Just right around. Yep, yeah, that's not what we want. It's incredible to me how much the, the old leaders there uh, 
half of a bogey. That's Looking right. For a birdie. That's right. That's what we're doing. I'm not going to put quite as much spin on this one. We'll just go straight up this hole. A little bit of a cut. Let's see if that rolls up there. If it stays down on the bottom, yeah. Just going to hang out down here. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Don't want to leave this one short. Money. All right. Another birdie putt there. Solid, solid hole. Back to three under, two under for the round. And we're moving up that leaderboard, which is good news. Ah, uh, come on. That's straight pulled. And it's in a bunker. No escape in that bunker. Yeah, I don't think that's making any bunker down there. So I'm not worried about that. Even if I wanted to, I didn't think it would make that bunker. Wow. Well, I guess we'll play the next one from the bunker as well. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. Will it be able to get out of this one? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. It's nasty. She said so. All right, we're looking at 60, 70%. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not a pitch shot. 60, 70. Go sand wedge here. Just trying to get this guy out. Trying to get it out. Roll it up there, maybe. Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking just fine. Another tap in birdie works for me. All right, moves us to four under. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. It is. It cambers pretty good from left to right. Oh goodness, that's in the bunker. No, it's further right of the bunker than that. Man. Double crossed, they would say. I would just let them know that that's not the case. It's got three different sections a front, a back left, and a back right. You got to get your second shot spot on to have the best opportunity for birdie. I would agree with that. Not the worst shot in the world. I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Get on back there. All right. Giving us a chance. A lot of left to right in this one. I uh, left it short. Left it short, pushed it. All the things that I didn't want to do. Saving the par, not not the end of the world. Hole in one. There's We're just, just going to go for center of the green of here. Try to roll it up there a bit. Does get a bit it still is very Too small. fast. Massive That's a bunker. Top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green. Two putt. Make three. Move on. All this right. Should be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. I agree with that statement wholeheartedly. Oh, sit down. Okay. How much room do we give it? Too much. Dang it. I also pushed that one, so didn't help. Did not help anything. Well, that birdie was short-lived there. He's in a share of fifth position. Share in fifth right now. Let's head to the 12th hole. This 12th hole is probably one of the toughest tee shots players will face. Out here. They know they have to hit a uh, tee bunkers shot, again. A tee shot to have any chance or hope of making birdie uh, here. You miss the kind of kick we get here. Right. The rough over there is horrific. Okay, first cut. Fairway, though, you got a green that tells from back right first to cut front is left, not bad. The second shot so much more imperative to not get it above the hole. Second shot, leave below the hole at all costs. Uh 
Did not give the ground as much credit as it needed to. Need a good stop here. Hit that backstop spin. Does it come back down? Is it coming? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He's wanting to. Coming back down toward the hole. He's trickling. I think that's all the all the spin we're getting on it. And a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. Just a little bit outside left. Rolling end to end. This ah, nice. come on. That's so Is tricky. That so tricky. That's pretty tidy. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. All right, hanging on to that two under for the round so far through 12. This is one of those long par fives. Good luck. This is one of the most interesting. Oh, that's a decent shot there. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a Laying up into the low area. Here we go. Blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots. On Let's the see what the old Flopperuski has to say about this. Yeah, it says it's too low. Not, not enough. Okay. So we gotta pop this guy up there a little bit. A little fast on this. It's gonna be more toward the center of the green, which isn't the end of the world. That is. That is it. Landed right on the edge of that. This putt to move into a tie for fourth place. All right. Well, let's do it. A little bit of left to right in this, and a little bit of a push on it. Pretty good speed. Just hanging onto the hanging on the par there. All right. A little slow on this one. Gonna find the rough, I think. Yeah. Where Unfortunately. That's not his style. Not my style, he says. Has, has he been watching me? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Bad lie, she says. Looks like they have a bad lie. Well, I rebuke your bad lie. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh yeah. Nice Hop on up there, buddy. Yeah. Didn't put too much backspin on this. I didn't want to overspin it out of that rough. This one, not a whole lot in it, really. How? Where does it go that way? Ever? That's rude. Just rude. I struck that perfect. Hanging on here at three under. Ah, uh, pulled it. Hang on, hang on, ball. Sit. That's it. That's just fine. you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Yeah, let's put it right there. Five wood's gonna roll out quite a bit. Uh, let's go for it right there. I uh, pulled it. Back-to-back -back pulls. Wow. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got around a hundred yards here. Yeah, I need something, something close-ish. And choosing the eight iron here. Get up. Shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. didn't get it far enough. Did not get it far enough. This is not a good par opportunity. This putt for par here. Oh, pushed it a little bit, and that may have helped it, but still going to be below the hole. Just missed. Good putters will not, make these. Not, five feet. not the bogey putt that we wanted because we didn't want a bogey putt, but back to even par for the day. That sucks. All right, on to the par three. Difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, mm. job well That's done. not the right if section. Off the back, not the right section. 
This would be a great up and down from this spot. I concur. Ooh, it's on a good line. Just below. Just below, but a good stop. Good shot. All right, still hanging on to even par for the day. Maybe one under. I don't remember. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really... Ah, oh, come on. Don't get in that bunker. Also the fear of this hole. Kick left. You have to challenge the left-hand side because... The ah, freaking the right A. Is really no good. From there to green, it tilts from back right, to front. This is 18 feet up. We've lost really about half of it. section over there on the left-hand side. I think we've got to pop However, this up there. it still is a promising birdie opportunity. Ah, yeah, too fast. Get a good kick. Hop up. Oh, nice. Onto the fringe. And here we are with a third shot. All right, let's see what that does. Maybe a little juiced off the fringe there. Not a bad, not a bad putt though. Forward, four footer coming up here. Looking good so far. All right, just saving par. See if we can score something good here on 18. Just need to find a fairway. That's really been the biggest differentiator. If I find the fairway, then there's, there's then there's a chance. All right. This one they've tucked all the way over there. Not even gonna pretend to go for that. Um, I will run it up there though. Run it up there toward that bunker. Ah, get over. They're going for the green. Hit and bounce. Oh yes. Come on down to the hole. You know you want to. That's a shot right there. That is a shot. Using the big muscles to get it home into there. That is the shot that we wanted. Up for grabs here if you can hold this part. Whoa. Watch your mouth, sir. This looks good. There we go. Solid eagle to finish out the round. Hard to beat that. Did take out my rival there, Harold Varner. And there we go, a top five. That's a that's always a a boost. It was a pleasure to walk the fairways and watch that performance, that dominant performance. As you said, we didn't expect a victory, let alone a victory like that. I'm Lou Helvey, alongside Rich B, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, it's goodbye. Wow. Just absolutely dominated Varner there. Plus forty points for me, minus one for him. All right, so there we go. FedEx Cup rank that moves me into the top ten. With that tie for four, gives me one hundred and twenty-three FedEx Cup points, and all sorts of boosts we got. Hybrid power grip, wedge timing head, that's wonderful. Streaming kids, got infinite city, infinite windy city putter. Infinite windy city. Got a zero sum, triple zero putter. And the Elite, X Elite 9000. So, there we go. All the things that you could ever want and hope for. Right there. All right, we advance to the next tier of rivals. Let's see who it will be. Cobra would like to sponsor us for apparel. I'm going to have to decline that one. Uh, Nike would like to sponsor us for apparel. Currently, we are. I think we have a 2K as our sponsor. Um, all right, let's go with Nike. That's fine. Uh, Tattoo Golf for apparel. Decline that guy. All right, so uh, got Wilson Clubs, Golf Club Ball. Um, Next up is the Waste Management Waste Management Phoenix Open. That'll be our next live stream 
here in my career mode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Devin with DW Golf Co. And if you haven't already, be sure you like, um, like the video if you like it. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe. Hit that follow button if you are on Twitch. Um, and all that jazz. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, um, anything like that, be sure you drop those in the comments below the videos. And uh, until next time, we will...